I'm John Buchanan, and in this video we're going to be looking at project alternatives. These allow us to save multiple versions of um, the same track within one individual project, so we can easily compare one version of the track to another. I don't know, if you're anything like me, you like to make different versions of your tracks. You might make a version that suddenly got a new middle eight, or maybe it's got a double chorus at the end, and the temptation is always to go to File, Save As, and give each version of your project a new name, which means that by the time you come to the end of working on a project, you might have 10 iterations of your tune, all of which have got different names, or maybe they've got different numbers, and one way or another, it doesn't feel like the most effective way of having different versions of your track available to you. The other massive disadvantage of working that way is that it means that you have to completely close your logic project and then reopen another one, which means that you're wasting lots of time shutting a project down and then basically buffering all those samples again, having to reload all of the instruments that might be present within that track. One way or another, it's not very effective. And Logic have got around this by providing us with this series of what we call track alternatives, which allow us to save different versions of a track, all of which can be recalled within a project itself. So here's my first version of this track, and this contains the sort of bass arrangement that I'm working to. But I might be interested in trying to maybe extend the middle section of this project, or double the length of the chorus at the end, or maybe add new instruments to a version, or maybe I want to make a version without drums. If you work in Music for Picture, you might be getting used to sending lots of different versions of the same track to your publisher or to whoever you're working with, uh, working for, and uh, the track alternatives is a really nice way of being able to save all of those different underscores or beat-free versions of your tracks um, to different people. So we're going to see how that works here. So let's imagine for a moment that this is the sort of base level track that I'm working to, and the first thing I want to do is to maybe save a different version of it so I can start making changes. So in order to do that, I'm going to come to the File menu, and I'm going to come to Project Alternatives. Now, what this allows me to do is to save a new alternative, and when I do that, I can give it a name. So I'm going to call this Longer Midsection. And then I can press OK. And what Logic's going to do straight away is to say, OK, we're about to close the version of this track that I'm working on right now and save a new version of it um, instead with this new name that I've selected. So do I want to save any changes to this project that were already open? So I'm going to say yes. And what's going to happen now straight away is that I've got my new version available in front of me. So what I can now do is to say, right, actually quite what I want to do is to say, I'd like to select this area here and I'm going to select the regions within it, and what I want to do is to maybe repeat this section. So I'm going to just select that option here and repeat the length of that so that this area becomes twice the length that it was before, and now I've got my longer midsection. I can save that. Now, if I ever want to A, B this against uh, maybe the original, then of course I'm in a position to do that. But let's just go further and add maybe a new sound to this as well. It's not just arrangement changes that I can make from one version of this track to another. I can change all kinds of things. I could change the tempo of this track, or I could add Add new instruments or new things all together which would uh, make it different from the alternative. So let's go and find uh, maybe a vocal sample or something along those lines. I'm going to jump into the loop browser, I'm going to select vocals, I'm going to come into genre and I'm going to select maybe uh, deep house. Let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, this might be perfect actually for a drop section. So I'm going to just drag this into my arrangement and I'm going to have this play through this second section of this, um, this new uh, length uh, midsection drop that I've got here. I'm going to just drop that onto a new track um, and come in and have a look at it. And it looks like it starts a little late. Okay, so it's starting halfway through this bar. So what I'm going to do is to just drop that back a couple of, um, uh, just a, uh, an eighth note so that it starts on the beat. Let's see what this new drop section sounds like here now. Okay, so I've got a new track um, that's different from the previous uh, incarnation of this particular project. So I'm going to save that. And then what I might decide to do is just to say, actually, you know what, I might just see what this track sounds like a couple of BPM faster. I'll turn the tempo up to 114 BPM as well. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so if I want to compare the kind of energy of this new speed and this new section with the previous one, again, I can just save this off. And if I come back to the file menu and again come back to my project alternatives, here is the original version of this track. It was saved under the name of this video that we're making, but I can come back to this project and simply select it. And what will happen is that very quickly, Logic is gonna just open up that version of it for me. And you can see that's much quicker than me opening all of those sounds from scratch. And we're back to the previous version at the original tempo. And of course, without that new track that I've added there as well. And I can create as many project alternatives as I like. I'm in a position to say, okay, well, here's the version with a double chorus. Here's the version with original vocals that I've recorded myself. I can make all of these part of the same project, which means I'm in a nice position to be able to sort of A, B all of the different changes that I've made to different versions or iterations of this tune. So in this video, we've looked at project alternatives, this idea of being able to save multiple versions of a track within one project.